Yeah, Adam, really disturbing and really disturbing video captured by a witness here. The video potentially too disturbing for some of our viewers. Now, witnesses say that the victim collapsed right at the fair gate of the station here. His friends and his classmates gathered around him, shaken, distressed. The police chief say he is fighting for his life and in surgery right now. The girl who police believe stabbed him is in custody, being questioned by detectives, according to the chief. He says, the chief, that there were a bunch of young people on an inbound train and there was some kind of argument. And then the 15-year-old girl allegedly stabbed the 15-year-old boy inside the station. We heard all the commotion, we heard the screaming, and we saw some people running by. We went back down to look and we see him lying on the ground with blood coming everywhere, coming out of his throat. How many times did it look like he'd been stabbed? I oh, didn't get a good look, Shell. All we saw was there was a lot of blood coming up. That's all what, we saw. Was he still awake and alert when he you... was he was clearly in uh, he was clearly in serious pain. He was a little bit he was like moving around trying to I think catch catch himself. He was in serious pain and struggling. He was like and there were people tending to him right away. Fortunately we had a nurse there that was tending to him right away. The Metro security guard came out, put some a bunch of towels tried to stop the bleeding and the wound, um, but he was in complete distress as any 14 year old would be after getting stabbed in the throat. Now the police chief says that there were at least three Metro employees who raced in to try and save the young man's life. This is the second stabbing in a week of a juvenile at the Metro station. And the chief says the message needs to go out. This is not a good way to solve problems. A young man fighting for his life, a girl facing potentially very, very serious consequences, and a large group of students struggling with the images, the sounds of what happened today, and struggling with that potentially for a very long time, too. Live at the Capitol South Metro Station, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.